Okay, class, today we're in lesson 2.3, solve two-step equations. Lesson 2.3, solve two-step equations. Before, you solved one-step equations. Now, you will solve two-step equations. Key vocabulary, like terms, input, and output. The equation x divided by 2 plus 5 equals 11 involves two operations performed on x, division by 2 and addition by 5. You typically solve such an equation by applying the inverse operations in the reverse order of the order of operations. This is shown in the table below. Operations performed on x divided by 2 add 5. Operations to isolate x or to get x by itself subtract 5 multiply by 2. Notice you're going in the inverse of the order of operations. Okay, now let's refresh on our order of operations real quick. We familiar with the term PEMDAS. We should all be familiar with the term PEMDAS. All right, and I think we all know that PEMDAS means parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, going from left to right. Okay, but when you are trying to solve an equation or you are trying to isolate the x by itself, you're going to go from right to left. That is, subtraction, addition, division, multiplication, exponents, parentheses. Notice here, they subtract first. And then what operation did they have next? They had multiplication next, doing opposite. So subtraction, then multiplication. Okay? We're going to look at this in more detail as we begin to work through the examples. Example 1. Solve a two-step equation. Solve x divided by 2 plus 5 is equal to 11. First step, write the original equation. x divided by 2 plus 5 is equal to 11. Next step, subtract 5 from each side. So I'm going to say minus 5, minus 5. Because I'm doing the opposite of what I read. Minus 5, minus 5. Simplify. I got a positive 5, minus 5. That's going to go to 0. So that's gone, and that's gone. What am I left with? x over 2. And that's equal to, on this side, I get 11 minus 5, which is 6. Next, I multiply each side by 2. x divided by 2, opposite of division, is multiplication. So, multiply by 2 on this side, multiply 2 on this side. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, I have 1x. 1x. But we can see, all I have is just 1x, so I can just write down the x, and that 1 is implied. What's 2 times 6? 12. So x is equal to 12. Now notice, I'm, I'm employing the steps that I learned in section 2.2, solving a one-step equation. So I had to know how to get rid of the positive 5, because that was one involving addition. And I had to, I had to get rid of the x divided by 2. I had to know how to get rid of that 2 that I'm divided by. You learned that back in section 2.2. This is why it's important to show your steps. Now let's take a look at the same problem except solving it vertically. Okay, I got x divided by 2 plus 5 is equal to 11. My goal is to get this x by itself. So therefore I must get rid of the 5 and the 2. Which one do I get rid of first? I go in reverse PEMDAS order. So I'm going to start with addition. Well, to get rid of this addition, I must do the inverse. What's the inverse of a positive 5? A negative 5. I learned that back in section 2.2. Now, a positive 5, and add it to a negative 5, that goes to 0. So I'm left with x divided by 2 is equal to 11 minus 5, which is 6. Now, I'm back into section 2.2. I'm working with a one-step equation. x divided by 2 is equal to 6. What's the opposite of division? Multiplication. So therefore, I multiply both sides by 2. Multiply both sides by 2. 2 
divided by 2 is 1. So I'm left with 1x. 6 times 2 is 12. How many x's do I have? 1. So all I need is just that 1. So my final answer, x is equal to 12. Now notice, what was once an entire lesson is now one step. What was once an entire lesson, that is, solving a one-step equation, is now just one step. You go from a lesson to a step. Example 2. Solve a two-step equation by combining like terms. Solve 7x minus 4x is equal to 21. Write the original equation. 7x minus 4x is equal to 21. Combine like terms. Here I have an x and here I have an x. That means those terms are alike. So 7x minus 4x will leave me with 3x. I bring my 21 down. Now I've got 3 times x is equal to 21. How do I get this x by itself? I divide each side by 3. Opposite of multiplication is division. So divide by 3, divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. I'm left with 1x. 21 divided by 3 is 7. So x is equal to 7. All right, for those of us who may be a little bit confused on combining like terms, uh, this is actually pretty simple. Let me give you another example. If I were to say to you seven books minus four books, how many books would you have left? Three books. But instead of books, we're saying x. Seven x's minus four x's will leave you with three x's. Example three, find an input of a function. The output of a function is three less than five times the input. Find the input when the output is 17. Solution. Step one. Write an equation for the function. Let x be the input and let y be the output. So y is three less than five times x will be written as y equals the is is equal. 5x minus 3. y is 3 less than 5 times x. y is 3 less than 5 times x. So that means 5 times x less 3. Notice you go backwards. 5 times x, that goes first. Less 3 less than minus 3. So you read it going backwards when you write it. Step 2. Solve the equation for x when y is 17. So in place of y, we put 17 after we write the original equation. So y is equal to 5x minus 3. Substitute 17 for y. So 17 is equal to 5x minus 3. All right. Now we're going to solve for x. When we solve for x, we got 17 is equal to 5x minus 3. I start with my subtraction first. And what's the opposite of subtraction? Addition. Add 3 to both sides. 3 here, 3 there. Remember now, my goal is to get this x by itself. This says 5 times x minus 3. I did a reverse of PEMDAS. That means I'm going to start with subtraction. So to get rid of subtraction, I say plus 3, plus 3. Now, 17 plus 3 is 20. A negative 3, when added to a positive 3, that's going to go to 0. So this is gone, and I'm left with 5x. Now, divide each side by 5. 5 times x, opposite of multiplication, is the uh, division. So therefore, I divide both sides by 5. 5 here, 5 there. All right, now what's 5 divided by 5? That's going to be 1. So once again, I'm left with 1x. 1x, but there's no need to write the 1 because all I see there is just simply 1x. Now, what's 20 divided by 5? 4. So x is equal to 4. So, an input of 4 produces an output of 17. Alright, to help out those of us who may be confused, let's look at the same problem vertically. y is equal to 5x minus 3. We substitute 17 for y. So, I got 17 is equal to 5 times x minus 3. I want to get this x by itself. I got multiplication and I got subtraction. I will start with subtraction. I'm working in reverse order of PEMDAS. So, What's the opposite or the inverse of a negative 3? That's going to be a positive 3. What I do to one side, I must do to the other. Positive 3. All right, what's 17 plus 3? That's going to be 20. And that's going to equal to 
5x. Why? Because a negative 3, when combined with a positive 3, it will cancel out. Now I got 20 is equal to 5 times x. All right, 5 times x. What's the inverse or opposite of multiplication? It's going to be division. What I do to one side, I do to the other. Remember, my goal is to get this x by itself by using um, the inverse properties of, of mathematics. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. So I'm left with 1x is equal to 20 divided by 5, which is 4. So I can write this as 4 is equal to x, but I can also read it going this way. x is equal to 4. So both are the same. Example 4. Solve a multi-step problem. Scuba diving. As a scuba diver descends into deeper water, that means he's going lower and lower, the pressure of the water on the diver body steadily increases. So the farther he goes down in the water, the more pressure it is on his body. The pressure at the surface of the water is 2,117 pounds per square foot pounds per square foot. The pressure increases at a rate of 64 pounds per square foot for each foot the diver descends. Find the depth at which a diver experiences a pressure of 8,517 pounds per square foot. Solution. Step 1. Write a verbal model, then write an equation. Pressure at given depth is equal to pressure at surface plus rate of change of pressure times the diver's depth. Pressure at given depth, that's P. And that's equal to pressure at the surface. They said that was 2,117. The pressure at the surface of the water is 2,117 pounds. Rate of change of pressure, that was 64 pounds right there per square foot. And the diver's depth, we don't know. That's what we're trying to find, the depth. So our equation then is P is equal to 2,117 plus 64 times D. Step two, find the depth at which the pressure is 8,517 pounds per square foot. So in place of P, we're going to put 8,517 after you write the original equation. That's our original equation. And it say find the depth when the pressure is 8,517. So in place of P, that's what we put. So now we have 8,517 is equal to 2,117 plus 64D. So now we got to solve this equation for D. Notice it's pretty hard to guess here. All right, we're going to solve this equation for D. So we got to get D by itself. So I got 217 plus 64 times D. All right, I go in the reverse order of PEMDAS. That means I start with my addition. Notice this says a positive 217. Even though you don't see the sign there, this says a positive 2117. That means that's addition. So what's the opposite of addition? Subtraction. So we're going to subtract 2,117 from both sides. So I do it here, and I do it here. Now, what's 8,517 minus 2,117? That's 6,400. Now, these will cancel out, and I'm left with 64D. Now, 6,400 is equal to 64 times D. What's the opposite of multiplication? Division. So therefore, I'm going to divide both sides by 64. 64 divided by 64, that's 1. So I'm left with 1D. But how many Ds do I see? Simply 1. And then 6400 divided by 64, that's going to equal to 100. A diver experiences a pressure of 8,517 pounds per square foot at a depth of 100 feet. Okay, and this concludes today's lesson.